Louise Brooks, a prominent figure in classic Hollywood, captivated audiences with her distinctive presence and talent. The question of when one first recognized her is often met with varied responses, reflecting the enduring impacts she left on cinema enthusiasts. What sets Brooks apart from her contemporaries of the era is a combination of her iconic bobbed hairstyle, which became a symbol of the Roaring Twenties, and her unconventional approach to acting that defied the norms of the time. Her on-screen charisma, marked by a unique blend of sensuality and sophistication, carved a niche that distinguished her from other actresses. The question of one's most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic Hollywood actor invites a nostalgic journey for those who have admired her work. We welcome you to share your stories and memories in the comments below. Louise Brooks, a luminary of her time, continues to be remembered for her contributions to the golden age of cinema. In 1938, a 20th Century Fox talent scout, unaware of her true identity, spotted a girl named Linda Carter in a play and offered her a screen test. This turned out to be Louise Brooks, attempting a comeback after leaving her Paramount contract. Meanwhile, Marlene Dietrich was poised to accept the role of Lulu in Pandora's box when Brooks walked out on her Paramount contract, altering the course of cinematic history. In the early days of her career, Brooks resided in the Algonquin Hotel, befriended by director Edmund Gooding. Initially skeptical, she turned down his offer of a screen test, suspecting ulterior motives. Eventually, her unconventional behavior led to her eviction from both the Algonquin and later the Martha Washington. Reflecting on her misadventures, she quipped, within a month, my wearing apparel had got me kicked out of two hotels. These incidents capture the essence of Louise Brooks, a figure whose career twists and turns were as unpredictable as her tumultuous personal life. From mistaken identities to hotel expulsions, Brooks' journey in the film industry was marked by unscripted drama that mirrored her on-screen charisma. Ranked as the 44th sexiest star in film history by Empire Magazine in 1995, Louise Brooks led a life as intriguing off-screen as on. Beyond her iconic roles, Brooks became the discreet mistress of CBS founder William Paley. Unbeknownst to many, Paley ensured her financial security with a confidential yearly pension, a unique aspect of her personal history. Later in life, Brooks ventured into the world of dance, opening a studio in Beverly Hills. Unfortunately, a financial scandal involving her business partner led to the studio's failure. Undeterred, she returned to her roots, leaving Hollywood for good in 1940. Establishing a dance studio in Wichita, she authored the fundamentals of good ballroom dancing, showcasing her resilient spirit in the face of setbacks. These lesser-known facets of Louise Brooks' life add layers to her persona, revealing a woman who navigated both the glitz of Hollywood and the challenges of personal and professional relationships. Her journey, marked by unexpected twists, mirrors the enigmatic charisma she brought to the silver screen. During her memorial service, Louise Brooks' cremated remains found a resting place at Holy Sepulchre Cemetery in Rochester, New York. The event was solemn, marked by the resonant notes of Beethoven's Ode to Joy and readings from her own Lulu in Hollywood. Her legacy, intertwined with both cinematic prowess and personal depth, echoed through these passages and musical tributes. The ceremony encapsulated the enigmatic allure that Brooks brought to both her on-screen performances and her off-screen persona, leaving an indelible mark on her admirers. Chernobog in Neil Gaiman's American Gods hailed her as the greatest American actress of all time. While her resurgence is often credited to James Card, the curator at Eastman House, it was the French cinematic that championed her as early as 1936. For years, their museum held the sole known print of her famed film, Pandora's Box. This dichotomy of recognition propelled Louise Brooks into a renaissance. Her prowess, recognized by literary figures and international institutions alike, reshaped her legacy. Despite bankruptcy in 1932, she found a new stage, captivating audiences in nightclubs through dance. This resurgence, catalyzed by diverse endorsements, underscored her enduring impact on American cinema. It wasn't merely a rediscovery, but a reclamation of her rightful place as an iconic actress. Her journey from near obscurity to cultural resurrection stands as a testament to her unparalleled talent and the transcontinental admiration she garnered. Louise Brooks, a name that transcends time, an actress immortalized by literature and institutions, re-emerged from the shadows to reclaim her place in the pantheon of American cinema. She epitomized the liberated spirit of the 1920s, embodying the iconic image of the flapper. 
Her portrayal of this rebellious young woman captivated audiences, cementing her as a symbol of that era's evolving social norms. Louise Brooks, whose father was a lawyer and mother a talented pianist, etched her place in history through her on-screen persona. However, her off-screen life held intriguing mysteries, notably in 1943, when she was offered $1.500 for the rights to publish her ghost-written story in the American Weekly magazine. Her refusal to disclose certain details or names prevented the publication of this potentially sensational piece. This incident underscored her commitment to privacy and added another layer of enigma to the enigmatic actress. Louise Brooks' life and persona, both on and off the screen, continue to intrigue audiences, shaping her legacy in ways that transcend mere performances. Following her stint in Europe, she declined a pivotal role alongside James Cagney in The Public Enemy, a move that could have revitalized her Hollywood career. This decision marked a crucial turning point, steering her path away from potential resurgence on the silver screen. Instead, she redirected her focus, delving into writing incisive essays that dissected and illuminated various facets of the film industry. Her commentary, marked by wit and intelligence, became a testament to her astute understanding of the cinematic world beyond her acting roles. Louise Brooks' transition from a declining Hollywood opportunity to a prolific essay stands as a pivotal juncture in her post-acting life, showcasing her multifaceted talents and deep insight into the industry. In the history of British music, there lies a fascinating tale that intertwines the enigmatic aura of Louise Brooks with the vibrant melodies of a renowned band. This unique fusion materialized in 1991, when orchestral maneuvers in the dark unleashed their hit song, Pandora's Box, upon the world. What made this track stand out wasn't just its catchy rhythm or lyrical finesse, but the unexpected homage it paid to a cinematic icon from decades past. Louise Brooks, known for her captivating presence in the 1929 film, left an indelible impression on the band's creative vision. The accompanying music video for Pandora's Box intricately weaved glimpses of Brooks' magnetic allure, seamlessly blending her timeless images with the contemporary soundscape. This unexpected tribute breathed new life into Brooks' legacy, transporting her influence from the silver screen to the pulsating beats of a modern-day anthem. The connection between Louise Brooks and this musical masterpiece sheds light on a lesser-known facet of her cultural impact. It transcends mere entertainment, delving into the realms where artistry meets homage. The resonance of her persona within the fabric of this song reveals an enduring legacy that surpasses eras, embracing a timeless allure that captivates both devoted fans and unsuspecting newcomers alike. Through the unexpected harmonization of past and present, Louise Brooks' mystique echoes, underscoring her lasting influence on diverse artistic mediums. Her presence in Pandora's box illuminates the expansive reach of her cultural impact, leaving an imprint that reverberates through the annals of music history. As we draw the curtain on this cinematic journey, I encourage you to ponder the allure of a timeless actress whose legacy transcends eras. Louise Brooks, a luminary whose enigmatic presence graced the silver screen, left an indelible mark through her magnetic performances. Perhaps her character's depth or the captivating nuances she effortlessly brought to life resonated with you. Reflecting on her roles might evoke cherished memories or insights into the essence of storytelling. Did her portrayal in a particular film stir emotions or prompt contemplation? Share your cherished moments, the scenes that linger in your mind long after the credits roll, or the way her performances shaped your perception of cinema. Louise Brooks' impact endures, weaving into the fabric of entertainment history. Her influence reaches far beyond the frames of the films she graced, leaving an ineffable imprint on the art of acting itself. As we celebrate her contributions, let's continue to cherish and honor the magic she brought to the screen. Thank you for joining in this celebration of a cinematic icon. Your engagement enriches the tapestry of her legacy, keeping her spirit alive through shared reflections. Grateful for your time and boundless appreciation for Louise Brooks' profound impact on entertainment.